Welcome to EDA Playground videos. My name is Victor, I'm the creator of EDA Playground, and today we're going to talk about synth synthesis. One of the common mistakes that young engineers make is they write RTL code that is non-synthesizable, meaning that it cannot be targeted at an ASIC or an FPGA. Uh, so to help with that issue, recently EDA Playground introduced two synthesis tools that can be used on EDA Playground to check whether your code is synthesizable. I'm going to show you an example of both of these. The first one is Yosis. It's currently in development, um, so it does not have a version number. And um, the version on EDA Playground is a, a recent version from the from the trunk. So the the way it works is that you select the synthesis tool on the left hand side, and the synthesis tool is going to run synthesis on the design, which is here on the right pane over here, it will completely ignore um, all the code on the left side because the left hand side is intended for your test bench and test bench with statements like initial is uh, typically non-synthesizable. So we're gonna go ahead and run Yosis and it quickly finished. So Yosis will uh, synthesize the design, it will do a logical synthesis, it will use the ABC tool to map to a demo, demo cell library and at the end it's gonna create a netlist. So it basically does logical synthesis, takes this code and creates it to a netlist corresponding to a, a cell library. It does support recent um, Verilog uh, 2005 syntax um, so it does support um, um, most of the of the code that's synthesizable that a normal FPGA or other tool would support. Now the other one is uh, VTR, which is th VTR stands very locked to routing, and I'm going to go ahead and run that one as well. And this one does a little bit more uh, than Yosis. In addition to logic synthesis on the front end, it it also runs uh, place and route at the end. So at the at the very end, the result is going to be a placed and routed design. And it uses the recommended architecture here. And in addition to that, another thing it does is it it does increase um, the route width a bit more to help with um, uh, hard to route designs. So a couple more things to mention about syntax. I'm going to go ahead and modify the syntax over here. So instead of the classic Verilog 95 syntax, I'm going to use the new uh, NCC style port declaration syntax here. So this is going to demonstrate kind of some of the things you should watch out for at synthesizing your code. So I'm going to run this with Yosis, which uh, does support Verilog 2005 syntax, uh, at least uh, a, a major portion of it. So it's going to run five, fine. And VTR, on the other hand, um, I believe it will have an issue with this syntax. The, the first tool it runs is Odin, uh, which at this point does not support this type of port declaration. So this is something to watch out for, that different tools may support different types of syntax. Um, so if you're if you're experimenting on EDA Playground or writing a prototype, the most conservative thing to do is to make sure your design works on both of these synthesis tools. However, it's pretty safe. Uh, you could be pretty safe to make sure that it works on only one of them. And in that case, most of the kind of industry standard tools uh, from the major vendors will probably uh, support your code. So I'll show you one more example. I'm going to bring up a Cocoa TB test bench. So this is the RAM. So we can have the test bench in Python on the left and then Verilog design on the right. So even with Cocoa TB, you can still uh, run synthesis because the synthesis will only run on the right hand side of the design. We're going to go ahead and pick Yosis and, and run it just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so it's running. It executed successfully. Um, the other tool, uh, VTR, will have an issue with uh, this this syntax over here, so I'm not gonna I'm not going to run that at this point. 
So in order to find more information about these synthesis tools, you can go to the EDA Playground documentation, which you can do by either going through the About link or simply by clicking the information icon over here. And this information icon will list the current uh, tools and simulators that are available. And here you'll have the links to the project pages, both for Yosis and for Verilog to Routing project. 